First at 5.30 tonight, we begin with the latest in the Boston Marathon bombings trial. Testimony continued today from the FBI and police about surviving suspect and younger brother, Johar Zernayev. Now the jury heard more technical evidence about the investigation that led to his capture. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance has been following this case. She joins us now live in our studio with the trial's latest developments. Mike and Kelly, good evening. Today marks day nine of testimony and it investigators show jurors two pipe bombs thrown at police allegedly by the Zarnayev brothers as they tried to flee from police days after the Boston Marathon bombings. Jurors examined two homemade bombs Wednesday during Johar Zarnayev's death penalty trial that police say Zarnayev and his older brother Tamerlan hurled at them during a gunfight in Watertown. Massachusetts State Police Trooper Robert McCarthy testified that the unexploded metal bombs were lined with BBs and contained explosive powder. McCarthy says one was designed to explode like a grenade when it landed. The trooper also told jurors when he arrived on scene he heard a loud pop and saw smoke. Then heard officers yelling they're throwing bombs at us as bullets rang out on the quiet residential street. Crime scene investigator Patrick Moynihan told jurors he collected dozens of fingerprints that matched the Zarnayev brothers at the Watertown crime scene. <laughs> the violent confrontation in Watertown happened four days after the marathon bombings, which killed three and injured 264. Johar Zarnayev's lawyers allege older brother Tamerlan was the mastermind behind the marathon attack and his brother was just following his lead. But prosecutors say Johar was a willing participant in the attacks. And prosecutors are expected to wrap up presenting their case sometime next week. Live in studio, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.